I keep burping because I hit myself in the throat with the beauty blender so forcefully. Hello friends and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing something that's been requested a lot. So today I'm going to be doing an everyday makeup routine. Now before we get started with the video, I just want to say thank you guys so so much for all of your love and support over the last couple of weeks. You guys make me so emo. I know that some people find hard hands to be cringy, but serious hard hands. So this everyday makeup routine is kind of like the routine that I do during the week when I have time to do my makeup and also when I'm shooting a lot of my videos. A lot of my videos you'll see this as kind of like my standard makeup look because this is kind of what I can accomplish in a reasonable amount of time. Just a disclaimer before we get started with the makeups. I'm not a makeup artist. I have never been trained in makeup really in any way. All I know about makeup is just through trial and error and me hopelessly trying to recreate online beauty tutorials. But I really like makeup. I like expressing myself through makeup and I just, I like collecting lipsticks. You guys know I'm crazy about lipstick. A second disclaimer. This is the first time I've ever filmed like a really close up beauty routine type video. So just know that you're about to get close up in my face. You're gonna be in my grill, but I'm inviting you into my grill but just know that you might see some nose hairs. But that's when you know we're really close. The nose hairs, they just, they bring the intimacy level up just another notch. All right, here we go. Let's get into it. Punch in now. So the first thing I like to do is to put a hair wrap. That failed. Put a hair wrap on. This thing simultaneously makes me feel like Galleria from the Cheetah Girls and also Sharpay from High School Musical. Now that this is on, let's begin. I'm gonna put primer on. This is the Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. I bought it because it said it has coconut water in it. And I love coconuts. Oh man. Blah. Next what I like to do is have a drink of a beverage. If you're wondering, am I drinking Capri Sun? The answer is yes. Pacific Cooler is the best flavor by a lot. Don't at me. All right, once you're done with your primer, I like to start with my eyebrows. So I use this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. This is like the kind of easier pencil, I think, that kind of comes out in like a little triangle form. I think this is a lot easier to use than the pencil itself. I think the pencil, you kind of just have to be more artistic with it. Whereas with this one, you can just be like, meh, meh. I pretty much like to just fill in the sparseness. And then I like to kind of like fill in the top as well and create a little bit more of like a, what would you call this? An arch. My saga with my eyebrows is lifelong. When I was young, I had like a cute wispy unibrow. And then when puberty hit, it became a full fledged like Ed, Ed and Eddie unibrow. I wasn't really allowed to do hair removal until I sort of went rogue at age 13. I plucked my brows into tadpoles and I really just depleted the little hairs that grow under here. Like I would pluck them without mercy like every single day. I'm just gonna do this really quick. Yeah, I need to look at this straight on. Otherwise my brows are just gonna become Maleficence. Another thing I like about doing my brows first is that if I mess up, I can kind of just smear it off without messing up any of the rest of my makeup. Pretty much my entire makeup routine is just structured to try and like maximize the opportunities for fixing things. So the next thing that I do is find something that I don't know where my shit is. So the next thing I usually do is put some eyeshadow primer on. I use the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I like it a lot. I just put a little bit on my fingers and then just go in to my lids with my fingers like this. I don't wear a ton of eyeshadow on a daily basis. This is more just like, kind of just to like make my eyelids look better in general. I also find that this helps keep my eyeliner on. After the eyeshadow primer, I go in with my color correcting and concealer stuff. This is the NYX Dark Circle Concealer Corrector. I just use my finger. Just wash your hands, you know? As long as you wash your hands after you pee. Now I'm gonna put on my face makeup. I use the NYX BB Cream in the color Golden, run a hair. On other days, I use more full coverage foundation, but on a daily basis, I use this guy. I really actually do like it. I have combo skin and I feel like at the very end of a long day, this does definitely get a little shiny, but I like it so much that I don't mind. I just like keep a little powder compact on hand. So I just squirt a little bit out in my hand. I know everyone has their own method of putting their foundation on their face, but I find Beauty Blender to be the most calming. It's like you're getting hit in the face by a tiny pillow over and over again. Raindrops keep falling on my face. Okay, so once you're almost finished dabbing, what I do next is I go in with my concealer for my little pimples, my little pimps. This is the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer, and I use the color 
beige. I'm usually beige, like an envelope. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of concealer over those little pimples that have been popping up. I'm just gonna dab my concealer under my eyes as well. Just any little place where I'm like, hmm, seems like I could use a little help over there. And then I'm gonna take my beauty blender once again and continue to dab. I find that with the BB cream, you can be pretty gentle in your beading of your own face. But with the concealer, I feel like you really just gotta hit yourself a little bit. I know I make a ton of weird faces when I'm doing my makeup. Specifically this like fish gapey one, I'm always like, one time I was like, oh my God, what a great makeup YouTube challenge. Try and do your makeup without making any faces at all. And then I realized it would just be footage of everyone just being like, completed the challenge. I'm just gonna get around my neck area as well, just to kind of, you know, not have that weird line. So I'm just gonna dab a little bit around my neck. Ooh, Ooh that, that got serious. Ooh, hitting myself in the esophagus with my beauty blender just made me burp. The next thing I do is start setting up my eyeliner. This is like my only makeup hack. And I don't know if it's a hack because I feel like it's something that a lot of people do. Is I'll take my concealer and I'll take this little brush. This is the Real Techniques by Sam and Nick. I love these brushes, by the way. And this is the Accent brush. I think this came in like the eye packet. So I will basically, I'll try and show you guys. What I do is I take a little bit of concealer and I draw a really faint line from the edge of my eye to the end of my eyebrow. My eyebrows grow longer on the sides. So I have to make sure that like in between getting my brows done, I have to kind of maintain this brow length Otherwise my cat eyes get like, kind of like lower and lower and lower. So now that that line is down and we've got some template for the future. The next thing I do is bake. How I bake is basically I take the Laura Mercier loose setting powder and my damp beauty blender and I shake it up a little bit. So we've got some, you know, powder in the top part and I like dab it in Oop. and you make a snowstorm. But basically I have enough powder on here and then I like go a lot of powder under my eye, on my forehead, my nose, and my chin. Mmm, that's good. The thing about this is that I wear a lot of dark colors. So using a lot of light powder, it just creates some like dandruff looking situations. I, I kind of have mild dandruff too. But you know, this just creates even more of that like snowstorm effect. So I just like to sort of clean myself up afterwards with a makeup wipe or a lint brush or something. The theory behind baking is that you just put a lot of powder on your face. So your makeup kind of gets trapped and it will bake like with the heat of your body and set even more. So this is a way to like sort of eliminate as much shine as possible and kind of like make your makeup as long lasting as possible. As I'm talking, I'm seeing like little snowflakes like fall in front of my eyes and I'm like, mm-hmm, nailing it. So the next thing I do is actually go in and do my eyeliner while the rest of my face is a bacon. So I use the Lancome Art Liner. I've been told that I don't pronounce Lancome correctly and I'm very sorry, I do not know how to pronounce it. I got this in a holiday gift set and I tried it and pretty much from like first use, I was like, I'm probably gonna keep using this. I've already repurchased this one time. I just did that without telling you what I was doing. So basically what I do is I take my eyeliner and I draw a wing along the lines of concealer and that's how I try and make my eyeliner as even as possible. When I'm drawing in like the rest of my eyeliner, I kind of like to do it like halfway through the wing and then kind of drag it across. And then I'll like go in and fill in the rest of the cat eye. Is that even? Oh, frick. It's kind of even. I feel like I have a hard time talking while also doing my eyeliner. I feel like for everything else, I can kind of be like chatting and you know, hanging out. And with eyeliner, I'm like, oh my God. Can you guys see my shirt? My boobs are just covered in powder. In case I make any little mistakes with my eyeliner, I like to just take a little bit more concealer. And I have another little baby brush. It's another Real Techniques brush. It's from the same like intro to eyes set. And it's called the Fine Liner Brush. But basically like if I go over or like mess up or if it's uneven at all, I just take a little bit of concealer and then just kind of make it straight again. At this point, you kind of have like a line of concealer on top of your eyeliner. So I'll just like take my finger and just like kind of blend that out just a little bit. I feel like this powder has been on my face long enough. What I used to take off my baking powder is this Real Techniques contour brush. And I'm just like, kind of just sm swipe it off. It's kind of, yeah, swipe that crap off. Ooh, yeah. Just more dandruff on my clothes, please. Yes. Oh yeah, I love that I just kind of made that fly into my hair. It'll just mix with the real dandruff up there. But what I like to do next is take 
my Real Techniques All Over Powder Brush. I think that's what it's called. All the lettering has rubbed off on this one. I just like to take a little bit more translucent powder and just kind of do like an overall coat. I feel like there's no set time in my makeup routine when I prep my lips, but let's just do it now. I'm gonna take the Bite Beauty Whipped Cherry Fruit Scrub and put a little exfoliant on my lips. This is the one that I got from the Bite Lip Lab and I do really like it. I think it's a fun one and it tastes great. Do I eat makeup? Yes. On purpose? Occasionally. So what I do next is go in with a little bit of powder contour and just kind of like define the face. I use this Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I've had this thing for a while now, probably almost a year, if not maybe longer. But as you guys can see, I have not hit pan yet and I use it almost every day. Basically what I like to do is I take this Real Techniques contour brush and I usually like to use this shade on the side. I have never even looked at the name. What is the name of the shade? It's called Subconscious. I'm also not very awesome at contouring. I mostly try and focus in on just getting the cheekbone contour and then I just kind of like put some dark powder in other places too. So I do the fishy thing and then I put the powder in the fishy places. When I do the fish thing, I feel like I have a hollow that is kind of lower. So I kind of try and cheat it up a little bit so it doesn't look like my face is like low. I feel like this side right now looks like a skid mark, but we're just gonna keep going. Once I like do just a little bit on the sides, I'm gonna blend it out later. So I usually just take the same subconscious shade and just like put some under my neck, you know, just to kind of help. And then I do just a little stroke on either side of the nosy and I put a little bit up here. What I like to do next is like bronzer slash brush. I keep saying brush. I mean blush. I have a lot of different bronzers that I use. One that I really, really love is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. About half the time, I feel like it smells like a tropical getaway. And the other half of the time, when I get a whiff of this thing, I'm like, that smells like the lobby of a Vegas hotel. But good memories made there as well. I'm using this Sephora brand Uniform Complexion Powder Brush and just kind of like taking some bronzer and putting it on my cheeks like this. This bronzer in the summer would be too light for me, but right now, like in the dead of winter, it's pretty perfect. Next, I'll take a little bit of this NYX Soft Spoken Blush, just a really small amount, and just on like the apples. So I just smile a little bit and it's like, hey, there I am. So once again, I'm gonna go back with a little bit of translucent powder, try and not get too much on myself, but it's already a lost cause at this point and then just set my makeup and kind of like blend out a little bit the contour and everything. So the next thing I like to do is go in with a little bit of highlighter. This is the ColourPop highlighter in Churro. Just put a little bit on your finger and then just kind of like put some right here on your cheekbone. Sometimes I'll put some highlighter like on my nose or on my Cupid's bow, but the only other place that I really actually put highlighter every single day is under my brow bone. And then we can take down our High School Musical headband. So we just have mascara, waterline, and lips left. The eyeliner that I like to use on my waterline is this NYX Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, and definitely a turn on. I didn't make that up, that's actually the name. I put this on the waterline on the bottom part of my eyes just to make my eyes look a little bigger. I feel like this part is definitely the kind of thing that you could see this and be like, I never wanna do my makeup. Like that looks painful and it doesn't feel great. At this time, while I'm struggling to put this eyeliner on my waterline, I'm gonna finish out my Capri Sun. Not sponsored by Capri Sun or Costco, but Costco, give me a call. We could work something out. Second to last thing is mascara. I like to buy the small bottles of mascara because I feel like I don't actually use too much mascara and I know you're supposed to rebuy them pretty often because they expire quickly. So I just like to buy the small ones. And also the small ones are so small. So this is Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I feel like I will not necessarily get mascara on like my upper lid, but I'll get mascara a lot of the times like under my eyes. So I just take my little baby brush that had that concealer on it, this little fine liner guy, and then I just, you know, sort of clean it up at the bottom. Once again, my makeup routine is optimized for opportunities to fix the mistakes you've just made. All right, so the very last thing is lipstick. One of my favorite lipstick brands is ColourPop. This one is in point zero. It's like a really brownie nude color. Usually my go-to for like an everyday look is a brownie nude. And then if I'm feeling more dramatic, you guys know that I go straight for the very dark colors. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that's my whole face. If I've forgotten something, well, it's too late now, we can't go back. So that is my everyday makeup routine. A lot of times I find myself doing this routine 
partially in my bedroom and then partially in the car and then partially in a random public bathroom. But usually if I'm in my bedroom or my bathroom, I can get this baby done in about 30 minutes flat. If any of you guys use these products and like them too, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear more about your guys' everyday makeup routines. I love comparing notes and seeing like what products other people use. So I'm excited to hear about your products too. If you like this video, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. If you wanna see more content like this, make sure to subscribe. Here are my social media handles I'll put them over my face. A lot of you guys have been asking about Q&As and daily vlogging. I do a lot of that stuff on next week, so make sure to check that out. And I hope to see you on Monday. Have a great weekend. Blush, 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 blush.